Learning to Reflect is a blended learning module. These are the notes for the Semester 1, 2021, Work Portfolio Package at the Australian National University, Computer Science Tech Launcher Program. These notes are to be used in conjunction with online exercises and workshops. The module is designed to help students to develop capabilities expected of working professionals to identify their development needs, how they will acquire these and to reflect on what they have learned. This module was designed by Tom Worthington, an honorary senior lecturer in the School of Computing at the Australian National University. Tom is an award-winning educator, a fellow of the Australian Computer Society and the Higher Education Academy. Careers consultant, Tempe Archer, and the team at Australian National University Careers can assist with general advice on preparing a portfolio. Tempe is a professional member of the National Association of Graduate Careers Advisory Services and the Career Development Association Australia. On the Waddle site you will find a set of notes in an electronic book. These contain content intended for instructors, as well as students, to be used in conjunction with online exercises and workshops. You don't have to read all of this. You will be prompted by the Waddle system and your instructor as to what part to read when. The module focuses on the third evaluation theme of Tech Launcher, reflecting and showcasing your learning in the course. And the last two learning outcomes apply communication. Effective transmission of decisions and solutions using appropriate media to professional and lay audiences, and reflection. Demonstrate and reflect on leadership and creativity as an individual and within a multidisciplinary team. The Work Portfolio Package WPP, assignment makes up 16% of your final grade, and two workshop exercises contribute 2% each, making a total of 20%. The Turnitin text matching tool can be used to help check the work submitted is original. Students can run their work through the Turnitin practice site, which provides more detail of the service. A wiki, with a logbook template for each student to keep an individual logbook of their work is provided. The logbook is not assessed and is not visible to other students. However, it can be used as supporting evidence that the work you submitted for assessment was your own. All logbook entries are timestamped by the system, so the examiner will be able to see when you made notes and prepared drafts of your work. Feel free to fill in the blanks in the provided entries, or delete them and write your own. The course consists of two parts, one topic per part, with one workshop, and exercise for each. Part 1 is, skills, where you identify the skills you have, what you require, and how to acquire them. Part 2 is, how to get a job. The WPP assignment task is to prepare an application for a real position. This must be a position for which applications were open during the semester and you must write a new application for it. You must not use the position or application previously submitted for TechLauncher. This module uses the university's Waddle system for communication. This includes the dialogue tool for one-to-one -to -one communication about the administration of this module. The workshop tool for the workshop exercises and the assignment tool for the WPP assignment. The Zoom video conference system is used when a classroom is not available for the workshops. The Turnit in text matching system can be used to help check the work you submit is original. Two two-hour workshops will be held to help you with the assignment. Bring along any questions and work on the assignments. Be prepared to express your views of the quality of the work of your fellow students. There are no marks awarded for the workshops, but there is 2% for the exercise due shortly afterward. This module is more than just doing assignments to pass a course. The carefully designed series of exercises are to help you to develop capabilities expected of working professionals, to identify your development needs, how to acquire these skills, and to reflect on what you have learned. This is something you will need to do throughout your professional career. This presentation is released under a Creative Commons license. See the accompanying website for more details.